tins of paint next to me. I'd leave the hospital fucking in tears most of the time. Of course you would. And then I'd get in my car, my little car, yeah. and then smoke a joint, and then boom, I'd just go, hit it, hit it, hit it, pull up, pull up on fucking roundabouts, wherever, mate, I couldn't give a fuck. KillerKellerOfficial.com THTC, the UK's leading ethical streetwear label. Organically grown and ethically built garments from hemp, organic cotton and other sustainable materials. 2019 is their 20th anniversary year. Join me with THTC as a Killer Keller podcast sponsor celebrating music, social activism, hemp and street culture. THTC, eco-fashion redefined since 1999. 101.4 FM, 24 hours a day, all genres. Nextfm.co.uk Instagram UK Frontline Beatbox created Killer Keller And we need to talk about world music and street culture Killer Keller Podcast Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Killer Keller Podcast Live and direct, central London, essential as you need to be uh, big shout out to Graffiti Kings. We are most definitely in conversation, and rightly so, with a pioneer, one of the original dons of uh, of a DDS. And <laughs> yeah, I mean, and uh, yeah, without question, somebody that you should know and get to know from the outer hemispheres of uh, graffiti into more street culture. Where are you, sir? I'm just having a piss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe, sir. Right. And I'll send you the haircut. <laughs> I, I do apologise to all the viewers. Yeah. One second, and I'm just coming there. <laughs> when okay, with me. God, I'm shaking my <laughs> When uh, are you getting any of this? I hope here you're getting. Here, <laughs> here he comes. Here he comes. The red carpet, my brother. Here he is. DDS. Here he is. Original. Here he is. Man of my own heart. How are we doing? Name 26 inside the place. What are you saying, bro? I'm all right, my brother. <laughs> Lovely. Well, we've already had a skin or two, haven't we? <laughs> we have indeed. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Mm. Very well. Um, it's been a privilege to meet you tonight. Hasn't it been good? It has been indeed. Mm. We've, uh, we've, we've seen Z. We've seen Zonk. Mm. We've, uh, he's, uh, he's passed through. He has indeed. And uh, what, a, what a Saturday night. Like, I don't normally get these kind of Saturday nights where I think to myself, here's one full of books. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're golden. Yeah, have you been doing today? You've been painting today, haven't you? Not today, I was painting yesterday. But you were Chrome and Black, you were down there. Went Chrome and Black. Big shout out Chrome and Black. Big shout out to Chrome and Black. Shout out to Zom. My brother, Zom, Eva, Rosie, who's there, bless her, Yan. That's my little click there. I'll take Yan. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's been a good day. I was over there. Um, and yeah, basically made my way over here. Yeah. And I've seen you. It's mischief. Mischief. Um, had a skin fall. What's your uh, what's your uh, relationship? Because obviously, like you guys go back a long way. When we talk about like DDS, I mean, like there is a lot of levels to your entry hole with like working with Zom and being so tight with him from jump, pretty much, isn't it? Like yeah. we were talking just before we started, and you like yeah. some of the levels in which like you guys work together yeah. early doors is mad. Um, to be honest with you, what it is with the um, the old DDS thing. Um, Bosch. Bosch is the one who put me into DDS, oh, to be honest Bosch. with you. Yeah, yeah. Bosch, bless him. Mm -hmm. um, he put me in DDS. Um, and that weren't that long ago, to be honest with you, because he, he took the crew over sort of thing, like um, from sub, whatever. And um, to be honest with you, yeah. But before that, um, with Ray, you know, Zombie, um, he's like my mentor, you know, he's the man, like, he showed me the ropes mm. and all that. And... Um, Going back years, yeah, wait, when early was this? 90s. Let's, let's go back. When was that? When, when did that first take? take? Um, I first met, I first met uh, Ray, I'd say, early 90s. Mm. And it was through, um, through, through a geezer of regret. You know, he's, he's well known on the, on the graph scene and all that. Um, of course he is. Fucking regret. Come on. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Absolute legend back in the day, you know what I mean? Right. And um, yeah, so as a kid, I was growing up around South London and all that. And um, I used to see him. Used to see his stuff up and all that, his tags, you know what I mean? And yeah, basically we got we met up and um used to do a few bits and bobs, he used to take me on the insides and all that. And then um, yeah, I remember he said to me once, he said, Yeah, listen, there's a nice fellow I want you to meet, you know, blah, blah, blah. Mm. He introduced me to Zombie, um, Ray. And um, yeah, that was it, sort of thing. I've met Ray, and then we've hit it off. And yeah, he took me under his wing. 
And, you know, he's like, he scored me. You know, he showed me the ropes. What's the age difference between you and him? Right. Well. Because you're my age. You're, you're um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we already established he, that. He looks younger than we fucking yeah. do. Though, yeah, don't he he? And he's a baby, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, he still looks about but, 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 he, but, he, but to be fair, he was he was certainly like yeah. when you somebody was to take you under the wing, what was it that he saw? Do you in, know what? What would you think it was? To be honest with you, I didn't know that he's throw up the fizzo, he obviously he writes fizzer as well. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And I used to see that throw up. So many fucking iconic names kills me. Yeah, he's unreal. He's, he's the only man who I know that could get he's got up so many, apart from diet as well. So many aliases that he's, he, he's, he's put up, he's done trains, he, he's smashed it with so many different aliases. And, um, yeah, basically, um, I used to see that fizzer throw up. Hmm. It was iconic to me. And um, when I met him, I didn't know he was fizzer. I just knew he was right. And then, yeah, we was there, and then I remember he'd done the throw up. I said, fucking you know, hell, is that you? And he was like, yeah, that's it, that was him. And then, um, yeah, mate, it was just from there, you know, he'd give me, he'd give me one of my throw ups, like, the NA throw up, what I had. I said to him, you cunt. I said, it looked like fucking Aladdin slipper. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, but it was, it was um, yeah, it was um, one of them ones. New world. Yeah, oh, yeah, I'm telling you. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so basically, yeah, he took me under his wing. Yeah. And, um, mate, it, it was unreal. Yeah, we, we, fucking hell. What's it like going, getting involved with that kind of, that, you know, when you, from outside looking in and suddenly like you're in the mix, like, for a lot of people, that is even for me. The idea of like that is like, what the fuck? Like all of a sudden, you're 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 in the institution. You're in the. You're in it. Yeah. You're, you're amongst the. I, I can understand exactly what you're saying there. Yeah. It's like yeah, as a kid, like yeah, growing up, right. and I used to see fucking different tags about like South London. Because you were super young, right? You were. Yeah, right. I was. Yeah, well, like the age difference. Look, I'm forty two. He's getting on. I'm going to say how old he is because he probably like strangled Strangle, me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. but. Um, yeah, he was a lot older than me. Not a lot, but a yeah. lot older, if you get yeah. what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, growing up around South, there was like the Tough Arts crew and all that, and I used to see like the, the cash yeah. cash throw-ups. Uh, Drome 2, Tough Arts, they were serious, you know what I mean? And yeah. um, yeah. C's, Plaz, people like that. And um, this was before I met Reggie, and then I used to see the regret tags up. Yeah. yeah. Fucking hell, man, who are these people? Regret's a lot of letters, isn't it? Regret. Yeah, very, yeah. It's a lot of letters. Yeah, to... yeah absolutely. And... Um, I used to see dubs and throw ups by him and this and that. And long story short, I met him, mm. and I could not believe who, who it was when I met him. You know what I mean? Right. I, I used to have this image, like big geezer. I'd think he was a big black geezer, and all that, but he weren't. He was the total opposite. He was a small white guy, bless him. And um, yeah, so he showed me a few things. You know, he, he took me on my first like insides on the big mets yeah. and all that. Um, and yeah, like years went by, and then like I said, I'm. I, Met up with Ray. He introduced me to Ray, and then, pff, mate, that was it. Game changer. Game changer, man. I met him, and fucking hell, he showed me the ropes. And um, yeah, um, oh, bloody hell, I met some serious people through him. You know what I mean? Mm. Like I remember we used to meet up. Um, there was no phones and all that back then, obviously. So you know, you'd either meet up at a spot. Our spot was Farringdon. We used to meet up at Farringdon and all that. Mm -hmm. And then um, you know, like I've met so many people. Hash, um, Teach, all these lot I met back in the day. You know, we used to go up and see all these people. Fume, um, mate, it, the, the list goes on, man, you know mm. what I mean? And, yeah, but to me, I was like, rah, I'm, I'm like rolling with these people. Oh, this, is, this, is, this is your new kind of yeah, landscape. absolutely, <laughs> it was. <laughs> and, um, like, back then, like, on the underground and all that, it was different, you know? You, you, you'd get off at a station, there weren't no barriers and all that. And um, all the, the walkthroughs and all that used to just be caned. Caned, man. Like, I'm talking proper tags, like from Drax to fucking Diet to Stax to Idea. Idea smashed it, smashed it back in the day, you know what I mean? Big shout Idea, big shout Big shout Idea. Drax huh? all day, that's Drax, my doggy. you know what I mean? All yeah. them people there. And, um, yeah, I used to, like, look and I used to think, fucking hell. But um, hmm? it was it, it, it was mesmerising. It was, it was out of this world. And um, we used to meet up. We never had no money. Um, we was all skin. I lived on the North Peckham estate at that time. I was like 16. Right. And um, yeah, it was hard, man. You know I mean, there was a place over there where I lived, Burgess Park. And I'll never forget, I, w I went in there, it was like an astroturf, like a playing field. And I'll never forget, I see the rate. There was a rate piece in there. Um, I think there was a Reggie piece. 
Uh, there was a few other pieces, Poe's, Poe's and all them, like mm-hmm. from the old Kent Road. Mm-hmm. Mascot, there was a geezer called Mascot. Basic, um, uh, TMS crew they were, uh, South London and all that. And mate, I was blown away. And yeah, so basically I just carried on, you know what I mean? I weren't great, I'm still not great now, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm no king. Hey, 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 he's, but, on, um, he's, on, he's on the Kitty Cat of Pocket. Come on. But, um, yes, it, it's just unbelievable, you know. I, I was taken in, um, and it was it was immediately a family thing. We could relate, because we had fuck all. We come from fuck all. Um, we had hard lives, you know. I come from a broken home. Um, and graffiti was sort of like an escape for me. Mm. Um, ever since I was a kid, I just sit there and draw, you know. Have you been... It, we, and as an art, would you class yourself as like an art? Were you creative as an artist? Um, I'd say you're an artist, but were you creative? Did you... To be honest with you, yeah. Um, I, I done art at school. Mm. Um, I, I worked too bad. I, I got to be in art. Um, I could do still life and all that, self portraits, things like that. But I was always drawn to graffiti. Yeah. Graffiti. I was always drawn to it. Yeah. And um, what do you reckon that was? What, what, what was it? Right. What it was is I'll never forget. I watched Breakdance. <laughs> For the first time, break dance. And um, I remember watching that with like Ice T. He's rapping and all that in it, and you see all the graffiti. Yeah. And then I see them all dancing and all that. And, and I was like, fucking... that's it, I'm sold. Done. I was sold. Done. Done. Yeah. So it was either I was going to be a break dancer, I tried break dancing, mm-hmm. but I was shit. <laughs> um, and then I watched uh, Beat Street, mm-hmm. watched that, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I don't know, I was, I was drawn to it. I'd, I'd done a bit of skateboarding. Who, was your, who, was your, who were your uh, mentors? That, who, no, no, let me refresh mm-hmm. When you looked at those shows, what was your inspiration? What were, what were the main key, like, um, do you know what? you're like, yo, even, it doesn't actually have to be graph. What no. were the things that you were like, oh, fucking, what, what, what turns drew, you on, yeah. What drew me to it? Yeah, what turned you on? Right, like I said, where I come from, nothing, and I watch them films, yeah. I could relate to them people in the films because them people in them films are being portrayed as coming from nothing. Mm. And I love that. There That's was a, right. there was a couple of characters in it, you know what I mean? Like you had Turbo, you had Ozone in yes, Breakdance. Yes, yes. And um mate, like something out of nothing. Yeah. Yeah. And Ozone was that. like his mentor, he looked after Turbo. Turbo was the younger one sort of thing. Yeah. And then you had the crews that were like, you know, were against them. But it was always resolved with a bit of dancing or whatever, you know what I mean? And um, you know what's mad about that thing is like the way the, that movement encapsulated everything. Yeah. That I think everyone at that time was thinking, yeah, like we deserve more. Absolutely. We want more than this. Absolutely, absolutely. I agree with you. And um, to think what what it was then, and you look at things now. Fast forward how many years, mm. and you look at it now, and like everyone wants a bit of graffiti. It's it's it's, it's the it's the it's the thing to do, you know. Yeah. Everyone wants it in their kid's bedroom. Everyone wants to own a bit of graffiti, um, you know, like likes a Banksy, you know. He's, yeah. he's smashed it. Good luck to the fella. Um, you know, um, I don't know. It's, it's, it's a movement and I, I don't think it'll ever die. No. Um, I think it just gets stronger and stronger. Do you feel, do you feel, because um, I'm like that with beatboxing. Yeah. You know, talking about beatboxing because yeah. yeah. I'm obviously. Yeah. Absolutely. But, you know, don't you, don't you feel like I feel like, fuck, man, I may not get the kudos at times that I think, well, like, my ego wants me to have, but it's really nice to be part of an organism Absolutely. that moves. It's, yeah, 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 it makes because you proud. Stu- yeah. Of course it does. Because the thing is with graph, as although, they, like you say, the, that kind of cultural appropriation that comes in, you know, your, your eight-year-old daughter wants it, so we have Absolutely. to get a but But it's kind of it's kind of cool that at least it moves. It's funny you said that about me. Like, I've got a daughter, she's going to be seven. Mm-hmm. And um, we sit there, we draw together. And um, she knows, she knows who daddy is. You know, she knows daddy's N26. She sees my reaches and all that. Mm-hmm. And um, we sit there, she sits opposite me and she draws. And I'm not just saying, I'm not being biased. She's, she's fucking mustard. And um, how can I say, it makes me fucking, it makes me gleam, like gleam with proudness. Yeah, that's right. Um, she's really good. And... Um, She's really interested in it, but it's, it's, it's like history repeating itself. When I was a kid, that's what I did. I love drawing. Mm. I don't know, it's like an escapism. I can't like explain daddy, it to Daddy's you. showing her yeah. the real authentic moves and that what you... Absolutely. Do, what do you think about that? As a parent... Yep. Cool, here's one for you. Go on. Right, so as a parent, mm-hmm. like showing your daughter the ropes, yeah. so to speak, it's... what would you do if, like, what would you do if she was to go... 
and start paint, painting and and illegally and non legally. What would you? What, what would be your first first? Res- would it be a? Would it be a? Ah, uh, 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 no, maybe, babe. Don't stop. Stop. What, what would your response be? I'd be like, listen, you ain't going no yard <laughs> unless you're with daddy. <laughs> no. Do you know what? I'd support her, whatever she wants to do. But obviously now things are different. Like, I've never done many trains. Um, I didn't paint many trains. I've done a few. Um, however, insides, things like that, are battered. You know what I mean? Train I always lines. think, when I think of you, I mean, I put you up in the same, like, and I know you'll, you'll take this with, yeah. with, with honour as well, is like the, the idea, Absol- idea, DDS, that kind of era. Of One like, of my good pals, bless Tell him. us that story you said to me before we started about okay. the, the, the painting across the people. <laughs> tell us that story. Please do, please do. Well, right. Um, idea, man, bless him, yeah. Back in the day, he used to live in um, a certain place. And um, it was like a, a little meeting at um, headquarters. We say brown brown sofa. Yeah, brown yeah, sofa. brown sofa. Yeah, I remember there was a little TV in there and all that, and we had like a little breville, mm. and we had a little fucking like kettle and all that. We used to make a cup of tea and all that, but it was piece to fuck. You know <laughs> what I mean? Ideas house was piece to fuck, and um, yeah, I remember when I met him. That, listen, by far, hands down, mate, the neatest fucking tagger I've ever met in my life. That's right. No, I've never seen anything Old like that. Tight idea. Yeah, there you go, but big up. And um, yeah, fucking hell, man. We used to meet up there, me and um, Zombie. We used to um, we used to meet up, go there, um, meet up with him, Trey, Snap. There was Snap. Um, Zonk. Talk like Snap, you know what? A snap is like a little bit unsung, isn't he? Like, Snap's a dude, man. Dude, he's he's a good dude. lad. Hold tight, Snap. So you sit, go and carry on. I so go, basically, go, so go, yeah. Go, so we used, to, um, we used to meet our ideas, and Snap used to turn up in a big fucking Vauxhall Colton. And we used to go racking, right? It was unbelievable. And we used to go racking, yeah? So you remember, back in the day, there was no such thing as phones, things like that. Uh-huh. And we, we had plots for everything, from throwaway cameras to your paints to food to beers. Hold on, so, what, so you'd have plots for your cameras, plots for your... Yeah, absolutely. What, what, why? Because in case... It, I, know, no, I know this is obvious... All right, so don't um, judge me, but but yeah. but the reason why I ask you that is because if you're, why would you have separate plots for things? Well, basic names no, because that's how it was. You know, like there were certain like little stores what done the cameras. There were certain stores what done the booze, and you believe it or not, we had a place where we used to go over St Albans, and we used to nick Air Max trainers. Right. right, unbelievable. This was this gaff was a fucking. It was a toy shop. You'd walk in through the toy shop, but this toy shop separated into another shop and that other shop was a sports shop. But at the end of this shop, there was a fucking, like, a storeroom. What? We could walk into this storeroom while the fucking old geezer well, was just at bang the front. it all. Bruv, listen to this. And you'd see all the Nike on the shelf and you'd look at the sizes. So it was like potluck. You, would, you wouldn't know what Nike you're going to get, but no. you'd look at your size. Bang, you'd pull the box down and we used to wear the puffer coats and all that. So you'd put one in one sleeve and then one in the other. Put your hands in your pocket with a pack of coat. This is right. So, by the way, you're looking at a pixelated face of a man that is so fucking chuffed. <laughs> yeah. and, um, he is such a heavy cow. Like, um, but but here's the thing: when in that in that moment when you're doing when when you're out there and doing it, like for instance, huh. and this is another question I get asked a lot, yeah. like which which people often ask me is like, how do you back then? How did you get? Photos and things like that developed. So you'd have all these things. Right. You'd get them all, but how would you ever like? How would you ever display them? Like this is the never mind. Thing. Get having like places where you store them. Where where, where would you get them? This done? is the funny thing. Um, so them throwaway cameras. What would happen? You put them in to the chemist, whatever boots, and you'd always be af- like afraid to go and fucking get the. Of course go you get would. Them. Yeah. If you, hold on a minute. Is there going to be old Bill there waiting for me? Because grass rod was rife back then, and um. You'd go, you think, you know what, fuck it, I'm going to Did you have a them. mate? Did you have a mate that was in there? Nah. No. Funny enough, I didn't. But, um, well, one of the chemists I used to go to, they knew my mum and all that, so they were sweet. <laughs> but um, you'd get the pictures and you think, fucking thank fuck for that, you know what I mean? But they were the shittiest quality ever, blurred, mm. do you know what I mean? And then after time, like, a lot of the work I did back then, fucking hell, the amount of chases we had, oh, through cameras, paints. We used to have paints stashed up all over the gaff, all, all down the lines. We used to have them in bushes and all that, Wait, so we'd so leave you, them. So you, were just, you knew where they were and you just... Yeah, we knew where they were. 
Um, yeah, oh, so if you ever come back, if you, yeah, I've got, I've got a few silvers there and all that, um, you know, blah, blah, blah. And um, Mad. fucking hell, man. But, yeah, it was crazy. I'm, I mean, I remember living on the estate where I lived in my aunt's and um, the bath like panel, I took the bath panel off and I had fucking plastic coats, fucking decoratives. <laughs> I must have had about 200 cans under that cunt. And, um, no one knew. No one ever knew. No you know, no one knew the difference and all that. And um, it was only where old Bill come and nick me once for something else. Um, they've come, they've spun the gaff, and they still never found the fucking paints. But, um, yeah, it was nuts. It was absolutely fucking crazy. We had, we was racking every day, um, living the life, basically, for nothing, for free. For free? For free. Sometimes when, like, people talk... And I've had some of the fucking best. Yeah. You know, I'm so fucking humbled. In yeah. fact, even you're here. It's oh, listen, fucking I appreciate mad. it. Listen, mad. mate, it's an honour to be here. Honestly. I appreciate it. You're a lovely man, mate. We've had a good scream. <laughs> it's been brilliant. Honestly, we, and, and to hear these stories, and I know if, because there's a lot of people that are as geeky as me that I love this stuff, like, it's, 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 it's almost sometimes unfathomable that, that, this thing consumes you and takes total control of what you as a human deem like, but that's that. And I can speak, I can kind yeah. of speak first Dan, cause, cause you know, I done my first like piece as you saw. I like, saw it earlier. Yeah, oh, yeah. And I'm it's got, very impressed. It's, it's, you know, it's comparable, right? No, no, no. Listen, I was impressed. Believe me, <laughs> better than the shit I used to fucking pull out when I first started. Let me tell you, there's no drips. Nothing like that. Yeah, one, no, no drips. We don't dribble. No, 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 no dribbles. First rule of thumb. <laughs> <laughs> no yeah. But 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 you know, I get how it consumes you. It can consume you. Yeah, it does. What's yeah. what? But, but but at what point do you do you know that it's consumed you? When is it like? It, well, okay, why? Well, yeah, I'm definitely I'm definitely in the zone right now, and nothing's gonna stop stop me. Right, that question there. Yeah, what it is basically? Um, I knew I was consumed by it. To be honest with you. When I used to see them fucking pieces and all that, them colour pieces, I used to see these colourful pieces by people like Iron, Elk, and all that. Hold tight, Iron, hold tight, Elk. Fuck here, Nell, you know what I mean? Like I said, like Zombie. Mm -hmm. I used to see his pieces and his, his dubs. His dubs were just fucking, like, you know what I mean? Unbelievable. Right. And um, I don't know. I don't, how can I explain it to you? It's like... Oh, it's a fucking good question, that. How do you, know when, how do you know when it's actually... Bec it, it's, it's part of you. Yeah. Right, I'll give you an example. I wrote through the 90s and then I stopped. Yeah, so I was, with, I was with Zombie for a good few years and then what happened? I stopped, fucked off. I had to do a few other things, you know. I've become a man of the world. Um, loved a few quid. Um, wanted to travel. Wanted to explore the world. I stopped. So basically I stopped. But... Um, for example, I'd go abroad, Spain, wherever, America, and I'd see, I'd see people up. Like, I never forget, I went to Las Vegas and all that, and I see reaches, like tracks reaches and all that in America. Mm. It's, it's nuts, mad, it's crazy. People and, don't, um, people, uh, people don't realise how much the lengths that these absolutely. People... And um, I always felt like shit. I'm missing out on stuff. And I used to see, I, I always kept sort of kept up to date with things. Like I always used to look about and. Like, I used to see, like, the zombie was always killing it. He never stopped. And um, mm. I used to think, fuck, you know, and I see zombie took other people under his wing. And it was almost as though, well, it, not almost as though, I, I felt jealous to a degree. I thought, fuck, you know, you know, that was me back in the day, you know, mm. but he took other people under his wing. And I thought, you know what, I've got to get back in touch with these mm. people. <laughs> and, yeah, like, years down the line, um, I come back to it. It's, it's nuts. Um, it was... It's like a gravitational pull. Absolutely. It? Absolutely, mate. Don't matter how much money you've got, what you've done. Art oh, it's that thing. I mean, I still drew. I always drew when I was indoors. I always had a little pad. And the funny thing is, my missus, who I'm with now, bless her, when we first got together and all that, I'll never forget. She's your rock, isn't she? Oh, she's my rock. Oh, she, she, listen, I'd be lost without her. Her and my kids. Best thing that ever happened to me. Um, however, when I got with her, did, she's unbelievable, bless her. Um... I remember she's obviously, you know, she's never forgot, like I told her I was into graph and all that, and I'll never forget, well, like, on one of my birthdays, she bought me a canvas, six Montanas, 
and a couple of books. Stop it. Yeah, a couple of books on graph and all that. And um, you know, that's like the the, the best. Absolutely, <laughs> the best. unbelievable. If you know, you know your, you know, you know your your man. Oh you know. man, listen, that's it, it, it blew me away. And do you know what the funny thing was? <laughs> I'll never forget, like, I had the Montana Golds, which are, bear in mind, I haven't ripped for over 10 years. So I fucking, I've got the Montana Golds. I'm in my garden now. I had a basement flat in South London. And um, I'm in the garden, right, and um, my landlords lived upstairs from me. Fucking lovely people, but the missus was a right bloody moany old cat. Bless her. So I thought, right, let me do this canvas. Mate, I picked the can up. Yeah, I've got the Montana gold cap on it. I don't realise they're fucking fat caps, aren't they? It's, mm. it's huge. Uh, uh. So I've got this, I've got this, <laughs> I've got this canvas, and I'm trying to do a fucking like I don't know what happened with it, mate. But anyway, I've made it into an abstract, and I thought after I'd done it, I thought fucking hell, mate. This, oh, how am I ever going to be able to do this again? And then that was it for a while. So I left it at that, and then um, I'll think. Yes, there was um, there was a competition down at uh, Leach Street. Zombie was um, he was a judge down there, and we'd got in, I'd got in touch with him. That's right, I got in touch with him, and yeah, I, I, I said, "Where are you?" Went, yeah, but, but I'm going to be down now. Hmm. So bear in mind, we ain't seen each other for years. So I've gone down there. He's the judge down there and all that. I've gone down there with my wife um, before we had the kids, and um, yeah, I see everyone all painting down Leach Street and all that. I thought, "Fuck me, I've got to get involved again," and then. Um, yeah, sort of. That was it. Pulled back again, you know, d d doing what you got to do. Um, and to be honest with you, it's it's only the last few years. Like my dad, God rest his soul, he got ill. Rest in peace. Thank you. For real. And um, I was I was going through a very hard time. Um, didn't have much money them times. Um, you know, our, our, our daughter she she was only young then. And um, I remember I had a little car, a little silver car, what I had. And um, I used to have to go and see my old man in hospital and all that. Mm -hmm. it fucked me right up, to be honest of with you. Of course it would do, yeah. Yeah, that's right. And um, so my way of dealing with that, right, no one drink and drive because this is not good, I'm going to say. But my, my way of dealing with that was um, what I used to do was go and see the old man at the hospital. Yeah. And bear in mind I was skinned. Yeah. So what I'd do, I'd get me sort of a couple of strong, like, ciders, whatever, Roll a couple of weed joints, um, and then I'd have paints like from some commission what I did for Mill Wall. I've done a Mill Wall like commission with um, my mate Sparta, six six six, lovely fella. Um, and who else was there? Massacre. He come down. He, he he helped me out. Like Reggie, like regret. He helped me. He he said yeah. I'll put, I'll, he, Reggie was there as it goes, and then um, yeah we've done that. But I had paints left over. Basic. Long story short. Mm -hmm. And so what I did. My escape was, I'd go and see my old man. I'd have my tins of paint next to me. I'd leave the hospital fucking in tears most of the time. Of course you would. And then I'd get in my car, my little car. Yeah. And then smoke a joint and then boom, I'd just go, hit it, hit it, hit it. Pull up, pull up on fucking roundabouts, wherever, mate. I couldn't give a fuck. And mm. I was just hitting it, mate. I went I went all city within five months. And um, that was like my escape. And and then it just from there, boom, you know, I started piecing again, and then I I, I done a few other things, and you know, by the grace of God, um, I come out of the darkness, and yeah, um, yeah, that's that. Graph was like a like a vice. It was like a thing that you were able to absolutely take hold of, and yeah, oh, I'm glad if anything was to come of. Yeah, the situation you were able to re-establish, and and for us, for for the unknown that <laughs> didn't know any of the backstory, you know what I mean? This you, is it, absolutely. Cool. So basically, it was like, how can I say? It's like a friend you fell out with, but you've made up and you've gone back to it. Like I don't know, how can I explain it? Yeah. No, I totally. Not you fell out with. It's a friend you've not seen for a while. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, you know okay. that friend's always there. And it doesn't matter what you are, how much money you've got. If you're a writer, like hardcore, if it's in your blood, you're a writer, aren't you? Do you yeah. know what I mean? And that's it, you know? And uh, fucking hell, like I said, man, I, I love it. I, I've been around some serious people from back in the day, like people like Diet. Um, I remember when he... Old called, tight diet. Old tight diet. 
I remember when he put me in PHM. Another guy who had so many aliases. Oh, fucking, he's a machine. What aliases did he have? Like, uh, um, a couple of them, but off the top of my head. Uh, opera, Figs. Um, figs, get figs. the fuck out! No, that's it. yeah, figs. Um, wow. Hell. Um, anyway, we're talking about we're talking about someone else. We're talking about you. Yeah. Big up, big shout out of the diet <laughs> all day, all day. So um, yeah, basically it was like that, man. And um, yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad, and I've not looked back since. I'm not looked back. No, I, I mean this is the thing, and as as a, as as a spectator and seeing the way that graph moves, yeah. it, it moves. It it's, does. It, and. I, you know, it's evolved. It has evolved. Hasn't it's evolved. It? It's like a fucking reptile that shed its skin. Yeah. And um. And you're so in the mix as well. I mean, the only com- closest comparable that I have is is Char. You know, somebody Char, that- bless him. Yeah, South London and all that. I remember I used to bunk school. Um, I used to go over to a place, um, uh, Crystal Palace, Gypsy Hill. And I'll never forget. <clears throat> I used to bunk school. Go over there, sir. Char's mate and all old that. Tight, sir. Yeah, old tight, sir. Not um, true. Dyer. God rest, God rest his soul. That's right. Um, yeah, these guys, like, they used to cane this place. It, it was a Hall of Fame, Gypsy Hall. And, um, well, Mia. Big up, Mia. Hey, listen, no one got a bad word to say about Mia ever. Hey, listen, mate, Mia's a legend. <laughs> right, and <laughs> yeah. I'll never forget, um, I used to go in there and I used to see. Ooh, effort, Thank you. And I used to see... Um, I used to see stuff by all these guys, man. I remember I met Sir. Sir was a gentleman. Mia is one of those people. No. Oh. Sir, it's Sir, it, you know... Sir could come back tomorrow and I'd be like, yeah, Absolutely. I'll be like, fucking hell. But but Mia is so consistent. Mia is mad. He just moves he just moves with the Mia fucking... is how can I say? Mia is to me, <laughs> Mia is he's, he's someone who I've always looked up to. Hmm. Um to me, he's fucking he's a legend. Yeah. He's a fucking legend. Unbelievable. VOP crew and all that. Yeah. And um like I said, like when I used to go to this place, I'll never forget there was a piece I see done by them. It was called Silencing, Silencing the Toys. And the picture was Anthony Hopkins. Oh, So Silencing Silence of the Lambs. God. And um, it's iconic. I've got pictures of it. Yeah, and, all that. and I'm just seeing their shit, VOP, right? Vis- <laughs> visual, gasmistic people. They were ahead of the time. Stylo. Unbe- unbelievable. Rough, fucking. Unbelievable. Just mad. Absolutely. Mad. And um, yeah, I was like I said, I was bunking school and going to spending the day there, or even on my own sometimes. I just go and sit there, and I used to just look at the pieces, mate. It was out of this world. So yeah, and I used to see giant pieces that so always done big pieces. He used and, to um, do the crazy, crazy, pumps, just crazy. Night, that that mid nineties flex that crazy. he was crazy, and um, mad. It was yeah, was, I'm proud, man, to like because you got your South writers, you know. I mean, I, I remember coming up as well. There was people like like taggers, bombers, and all that. You had Chuck, Chuck One Hundred One. Yes, 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 yes. Um, you had people like Fest, taggers, Fest, F E S T. But they yes. used to go ham. They used to go so smashed fucking it. hard. And you got to realise that this was before roads used to get buffed. So you'd see tags on shutters and all that, mate. And, and, and I'm not being horrible by saying this, but I look at tags now and they're shit. Like, oh, but these cunts out there now, they ain't got a fucking Scooby when it comes to tagging. Basically, back then, a tag was something nice to look at. Like, you'd look at individual tags and you think, fucking hell, these people have got style, they've got charisma. Um, I think I think a lot of it is like, when you were a writer back then, which I still think it, it still applies to now. Yeah. Comments under, all right? But, you know, without being too spicy. Yeah. It, it's, you were, you... Perf- Perfected that, you perfected the throat, you perfected the dub. You made everything yes. work in accordance to your um your, your st- capabilities. Yeah. And style. Like like you're from an era of, of of you know, I know what it looks like. Yeah. Yeah. As, for that person to be doing that. That's that's absolutely. his thing. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Which is very it's very different to now because now it's but but of course we're we're now living in a time where it's like there's a lot of Pros and cons of even doing it. Of course, there's a lot of risk. There's a lot of things that are, and timing and and Absolutely. what's watching you when you don't know it's watching. You've got cameras you. all over the gaff, That's aren't right. you? You know, the, 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 well, England's fucking got the most surveillance in the world, isn't it? That's right. So you can't even have a piss without these cunts looking at you. But um, <laughs> yeah. basically, what I'm saying is, um, yeah, back then, man, it, it, it was different, bro. I mean, like we used to go gold as green and all that. Me idea and all that. And we used to go. We used to sell tickets. You know, like travel, t- like travel cards. We used to go to the booth. The booth would be closed for the night, but we'd like them. They, 
them fuckers and put their hand underneath and get the tickets, and they'd all still be in date. Stand outside and you'd be touting, selling the tickets. Stop travel cars, travel cars. Mad. That's Obviously. mad. Yeah, my Hendon yeah. Central. We used to do that, Hendon Central. Let me, let me. Gold is green. Let me ask you. Yeah. So, at that point. Yeah. Because, you know, without getting too deep into yeah, the yeah, background yeah. of you. Absolutely. Like, you, you make money. You make, you're a money maker. So, we survived. Yeah. We survived back then. But but you 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 have you have had I have uh, yes yeah yeah uh, yeah you've done your thing on yeah. other levels like other things I've done other things other things away from graph yeah exactly exactly but yeah, but, um, but 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 the point I'm making is like at that point when you're doing that is that is that you getting in, into is that part of the culture that's part of the culture isn't it. To a degree. Or, or isn't it? To, no, to a degree it is. Look, when you're in the graph culture, you, you learn how to survive. Like I said, I, I come from nothing. Um, so, like I said, I could go out, get food, get drunk, nick a camera, nick pens, nick paint. But I wanted more mm. in life, if, mm. the, if that makes sense. Course, so, like I said, I, I went away from the graph, like, you know, um, and I've done other things. Um, I wanted to see the world and... I, you know, I, I like nice clothes and I like, I like nice, you know, trainers, shoes, whatever. And to do that, you had to do other things, basically. And, you know, don't get me wrong, I've always been a man of morals. I've never robbed off my own. Um, always been respectful. And that's the golden rule. You don't take up your own. Um, you know, you, you have your airs and graces. You know, yes, please, thank you. That's how I was brought up. Mm -hmm. You respect your elders. But, um, yeah, you know, I've done things, um, made money, um, spent money. Um, and, you know, I come from a family with a colourful background, uh, South London and all that. And, you know, like I said, when I was young, I didn't even know, to be honest with you. You, you don't know. It's, it's the norm. You know, you're around these people. You see them, they're doing well. They're, they're looking smart. They've got nice clothes. They've got, they've got nice shoes. They've got nice cars. But I wanted that. As I've got older, though, I've realised material things mean nothing. Mean nothing. 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 Material is nothing. Nothing. If you haven't got it's happiness... It's a journey, man. It's a absolutely, journey. Absolutely, it's a journey. It's a fucking journey. Yeah, you live and learn. You think people that are your friends, they're not your friends. And... You know, like I said, I'm I'm I'm, I'm lucky, mate. I'm, I've got my rock. I'm, I'm married. I've got my kids. Um, I'm not rich. I'm skint now. Um, <laughs> it's COVID. Uh, COVID crew. COVID's, you know. COVID's killed all of us. We're fucked. <laughs> yeah. Um, but basically, you know, like if you make money your god in life or material things is your god, you're not going to prosper. Do you think? Do you think that um, if you were to Right, outside of graph, uh -huh. you can make money and stuff like that. You can make you, you know, you know. We you weren't talk, we were not talking about that, but what? But but do you think it's shunned upon to to be? I don't know. I, I just feel like sometimes uh, you're not allowed to. You're not allowed the privilege of of being really good at, good at something and not not being able to prosper. You're right. It's, it's often. I believe that. Yeah. What, I, I, but you why know is why is that? Why do people? Because because that ultimately becomes the the chain on your neck. It's like the thing that you're doing is the thing that you love, and if you're really good at it and you get love, then why the what what is that? It's a very good question. You know. Um, yes, yeah, it's a very good question. That and I believe and there's no actual ending to the answer. Is there, is is there? Yeah. You can't. <laughs> you know what? That's a fucking good question, Kel. Um, what I believe. Fucking hell, mate. Yeah. What do you reckon it is? What do you reckon it is? What? Is it, is, it peer pre is it peer pressure as well? Peer pressure. I think it's society on a whole, mate. Yeah. I think if something's yeah. trendy at that precise moment, it's fucking trendy. Mm. Everyone wants a part of it. Everyone wants a piece of it. If it's not trendy, no, it's shunned upon. Yeah. It's shunned. Yeah. Um, so, you know, you've got artists. I, I believe, mate, you know, it's, it, like I said to you earlier, it's not what you know. So you know, yeah, that's right. and yeah, I mean, look, you've got artists out there doing their thing. Um, you know, th th good luck to them. Um, but like I said, if you're going to chase that, if you're going to chase chase money and all that, it's not going to come to you. Yeah. You know, do what you love, be who you want to be, 
Just be yourself. There's an elite, isn't there? There is an elite. And, and, and unfortunately, that's how it is. And there is, you've got the people above us and <laughs> it is what it is. Fuck all the conspiracy theories and all that, whatever. There is an elite and that's There it. is an elite and it is what it is. Um, and do you know, as, do you reckon you know as a person, do you reckon you know as a person when mm -hmm. you're doing, doing the things that we do? Yep. In the realm that we do. Do you reckon we can work to that... Um, oh, what's it called? You can you, you can you can work align yourself. Yeah, you can align yourself and work with that vibration of, you know, some people they they are super like on it, and yeah. everything suddenly like orbits to them. Do you think that exists in graph? Do you think like, um, like the Banksies of the world? And yeah, the... you've got Banksy. You know, Banksy's done his thing. I know a lot of people hate Banksy. They think yeah. he's this, he's that. But me myself, live and let live. I admire Banksy for what he's done. Um, he's a very clever man. Um, however, I do believe there is the element of he comes from something higher than what we're all from. I do mm. believe that, you know. Do you think that's a class thing? I think it is. Call it aristocracy, whatever. I do believe he's protected by a unit. He's there for a reason. Mm. Um, however, I could be wrong, you know. But like I said... I admire the geezer, whatever, people people hate him, they want to cuss him and all that. Yeah. You know, I, I, what he's done, crack on, mate, you know. I, I, think it, I think it's the same with everything. Good luck to him. Whether it's, um, whether it's graph or whether it's like, you know, Absolutely. music industry. Yep. <clears throat> you need these, <clears throat> right, okay, spice alert, all right. <laughs> <laughs> but if, if, you, if, if we really measure the pros and cons of what, value and okay yeah. it may not be us that has had that privilege of a but but what's the value in him being there is like is it is it is it that he's there and perhaps 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 it it's the okay sign of like we i know i know i can you aren't seeing this because of pixelation but i can see him thinking about this so do you know what do what, 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 you, you know where i'm coming from i know exactly where you're coming from um, i'd like to say this listen Banksy's got power. He's not doing enough for graffiti writers like myself, whatever. He's got the power to stand up, right, and fucking, you know, you've got graffiti writers getting banged up. Yep. They're doing a stretch for painting a fucking panel. Um, and then you've got nonces getting out of fucking jail. Um, so, look, like I said, I don't know the geezer. Um, good luck to him, what he's doing and all that. I mean, my circle of people, you know, I'm from the other side. And all that. Um, you and you've know. had your fest, didn't as well? You've been on TV, been in movies. You've done. I've you've done, done a few little bits. You've done loads of stuff. A few yeah. little bits, bro. Now you're you're also talking for because this guy, you, you will see him on a lot of movies. You won't know him. You won't know him directly because of the pixelation, but you'll know him in a lot of things. I've done a few films with my friend Andrew yeah. Frith. Old type. Old type. films. Big up. But 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 the point the point is like, do you so, do you need do you need a vessel like that that. Right, I'm glad you've said that. Basically, if Banksy would speak up, right, he could be such a, he could be such a, 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 a miles. A, what's the word? Yeah, that's right. He could be such a, a foundation. Yeah, that's right. Someone like him is an got anchor. The power. An anchor. An anchor. He could turn around and say, "Do you know what? Boom! You lot want me to do this, but I want you to." To soften up on the laws with certain things, he could bring people. He in. could actually do he that. He could. He's got the power to. Look, he owns the tunnel. He owns the. He owns the tunnel, hmm. Leak Street, and all that. But like I said, look, it's it's not my place. Um, but look, at the end of the day, like I said, I've got no animosity towards the fella. Um, but you just you just want him to to speak up. Oh, yes, right. Banksy, speak up, fella. Do you know what I mean? There's some good people out there, bruv. Yeah. You've come from nothing and all. Well, I don't know about that, but yeah, he probably has. Probably, probably has. probably has, you know, but he's got the power. Yeah. If I had that power, honestly, Keller, if I had that power, mate, and uh, I would do things with it, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart, you know. Uh, but that's it. That's how it is. Like I said, I'm no one else is. I'm that exactly, exactly what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm so glad you said that. You know, it's, it's super important. Absolutely. There's so much dispute about what. Banksy is and what Banksy isn't, but you oh, know yeah. what? But, but the fact is, he exists. And if it wasn't for that attention, all he needs to do is like 
dial in a little bit more. Just a little bit. Yeah. Just a little bit. And it would be so different. Yeah. It really would. Yeah. But then I also believe there's people that are pulling the strings. He's only allowed to do what certain people tell him, I reckon. I don't know. It's the same as leaders. It's too deep. It's too deep. It's, look, I don't want to get into that. I'm, I'm not into all that. Forget all that. No, That's we're talking about someone comment. else now. But, yeah. but, but, yeah. Yeah. but um, yeah. So basically, yeah. Um, are I'm, you happy? I'm happy. Indeed, I am. Yes. I'm happy. Um, I've, I've, I've got what I want in life. I've got, a, I've got a son. I've got a lovely, lovely daughter. I've got a lovely wife, family that love me. Um, I miss my dad dearly, you know, he passed away, like I said. Um, but yeah, I mean... I think I, with age comes with perspective, doesn't it? I do believe that, yeah, with age comes wisdom. That's right. And yeah, I mean, meeting nice people like yourself, Keller, my, my guy, brother. My guy, my guy. Brilliant, brilliant. Well, we're going to have a good old evening today. Absolutely we are. Yeah. So yeah, um, in a nutshell, yeah, you know, um, that's it. Also, I want to say big up to my boys from South London, Bio, Spuck, love you guys. Um, old ever, tight, old tight. ever from ever, the shop. Come, come on, mate. Chrome and black. Big shout out, Chrome, Chrome and black. Uh, once again. Come on, man. My people, you know. Um, who else? A couple of the youngers who I've took under my wing. Yeah, man. Just a few people that I've had it round. You know, good people, man. Family. And you're happy. I'm happy. I can't. I can't complain. For the grace of God, I'm here. Yeah. Ladies Cheers. and gentlemen, <laughs> without further to do, because we've got some other things to get on. We with have tonight. indeed. Blessings. Thank you so, so much for coming on the podcast, brother. Thank you. You're welcome. Man of my heart. Cheers, my brother. Thank you for having me. It's been an absolute privilege. Give me a big kiss, you fucker. Come He's an handsome <laughs> fucker, him. Lock up your fucking daughters. <laughs> telling you. Ladies and gentlemen, again a podcast strike with adventure once again, okay? We've got more coming up, all right? It's a day locked in, all right? Don't forget to subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. The mighty name, Tweet. Come on, man. Big up. Big up in the place, pucker. Old tight, old tight. DDS One love. All day, all right? Stay lucky. Don't talk to any strange people, all right? <laughs> Take care of yourselves. Peace. <laughs>